Hello everyone, this is a continuation from the previous lecture and in this lecture we will see two other registers and the next register is Portex and this register is used for reading or writing the state of the pin. If a pin is configured as output, this Portex register is used for writing to that pin and if the pin is configured as input, then this Portex register is used for enabling or disabling the pull-ups of the pin. Similarly, this x is indicating that this is not a constant and the value of this x is varying depending on the ports that is port A, port B, port C and port D, we are having four different port registers that is port A, port B, port C and port D. So these are the individual bits from PA0 to PA7, PB0 to PB7, PC0 to PC7 and PD0 to PD7. Let's take the port B. Consider that all these pins are configured as output. So we can make all these pins as high or low using this port B register. So if I write a value 1 to a particular bit in the port B register, that bit will be high and if I am writing 0 to that particular bit, that bit will be low. So that's all about the logic and let's take an example for understanding this. That is if I want to turn on this output pin PB0, I can just write 1 to it as we saw before. That can be done by using a individual bits method right that is i can write port b or equal to one left shift of pb0 as we saw in the ddrx configuration part we can also set this pin using this line so this line will set the pb0 bit of port b and if i want to turn off this output pin pb0 i can write port b ambition equal to negation of one left shift of pb0 so this line will clear the pb0 bit irrespective of its position and this line will set to the pb0 bit irrespective of the value that is holding and let's take another example if i want to turn on the pb7654 pins i can write a 8 bit binary data to this port b register as we did for ddrx register that is i can write 0x for setting these four bits i just want to give one to it and for clearing these four pins I just want to give 0 to it. So I can write 11110000. So then after loading the 8 bit binary data to the register, I can convert this 8 bit data into equivalent hexadecimal data. So this method is nothing but 8 bits method that we saw in the DDRX register, right? So we will split these 8 bits into 4 MSB and 4 LSB. So the MSB is 1111 and LSB is 0000. So the equivalent hexadecimal value for these two is F and 0 as you can see in this table. So the hexa value for the port B is 0xF0. I can write this hexa value to this port B for setting these four bits from 4 to 7 and for clearing bits PB0 to PB3. And if the pin is configured as input, this port X register is used for enabling or disabling the pull-ups of the pin. So all the DPIO pins in our microcontroller is having internal pull-ups. So if the pin is configured as input, this port X is used for enabling or disabling the pull-ups of the pin. You can do for any pin using the port A, port B, port C and port D registers. That is, if this bit is set, the pull-ups will be enabled. And if this bit is cleared, pull-ups will be disabled. That's all about the logic. But the logic is simple. That is, if this pin PA0, let's take PA0 is configured as input. If I want to enable the pull-up of the PA0, I can just set that bit. If I want to disable that, I can clear that bit. That's all about the logic. And the next register is pin next register. If the corresponding bit is configured as input in DDRX register, you can read the status of the pin using this pin next register and once again this small x is indicating that this is not a constant and the value is varying depending on the register that we are reading that is we have four pin registers pin a pin b pin c and pin d and if i want to read the status of the pin b0 i can write if condition for performing that that is pin b ampersand of one left shift of pb0 that is pin b0 i will execute this condition or i will execute this condition if the corresponding bit in the ddrx register is configured as input you can read the status of the pin using this pin next register 
and once again this small x is indicating that this is not a constant and the value is varying and we have four different pin registers that is pin a pin b pin c and pin d so let's take an example if i want to read the status of the pin b0 in pin b register i can write if condition for performing that that is if pin b ampersand of one left shift of pin b0 i will execute these lines if this is false i will execute this lines so let's understand this let's assume the pin b is initially 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 if the pin is configured as input in a microcontroller that pin can be varying its state depending on the external sources such as buttons the control of that pin cannot be controlled by the microcontroller right and the next statement that is one left shift of pin b0 will give the 8 bit data value 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 and whenever we configure a pin as input the control of that pin cannot be accessed by the microcontroller right that will be accessed by the external device such as buttons so whenever that corresponding pin let's take the same pin that is pin b0 whenever that corresponding pin value is low you can see when we perform and operation of these two values this pin b value will be remaining in the low state so whenever that state of that switch or button is giving load to the microcontroller that pin will be remaining in the low state and the pin b will be having the values 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so ambition of these two values will give us 0 as the result so this condition will be failed and this else part will be executed and whenever the switch is giving a positive input to the microcontroller this pin b value will become high and now you can see and operation of these two bits will yield a value 1 in the result so 1 is nothing but true so this if condition will be executed and this else condition will be neglected so this is how using pin register you can read the status of the corresponding pin when it is configured as input conclusion for configuring the pin as input or output we will be using ddrx register small x can be ddra ddrb ddrc and ddrd depending on the port you are configuring this port x register is used for setting or clearing the particular bits when the corresponding pins is configured as output and it is used for enabling or disabling the pull ups of the pin when the pin is configured as input this small x can be also port a port b port c and port d and this pin x register is used for reading the status of the input pin this register is used for only one purpose if the pin is configured as input you can read the status of the pin using this pin x register and this small x can be pin name pin b pin c and pin d depending on the port you are reading thanks for watching